Welcome to Bay Academy. Today, we we'll learn how to use Bay Request Internal Proposal Management Software for Enterprises. Coming to this course, you will know the role of Bay Request as well as the features and how to optimize these features while using. First, let's find out how Bay Request will benefit the business. Every day, there will be a lot of information exchanged in the business. There will be thousands of proposals sent and received daily like salary increase proposal, the chase proposal or payment offer, etc. We believe that a lot of businesses are having headaches when it comes to processing, reporting and storing the requests, especially the related to financial sector. The major issues that can crop up when raising an internal request are ambiguous information offering delays approvals, absence of effective communication, difficulty in tracking request status and archiving. Now, let's see how Bay Request makes all the difference. With Bay Request, you can completely send and receive suggestions anywhere with an internet connected device. Plus, you can interact easily on your request. You can assign tasks, comments, add documents to avoid any hassle of dragging them down later. Moreover, the manager will always be reminded of the proposal they need to approve. Employees can also track the status of submitted ones. So, this helps the exchange of information within the enterprise easier than ever. Confusion has also been reduced and work productivity increased as a result. Before going into the details of how to use it, let's take a look at the interface of a request. First, you need to log into Bay Platform on your computer browser. Go to home.bay.vn with your account. At the main screen, find the Bay Request application and choose to use it. The Bay Request application will open in a new tab. Now you are at the main interface of Bay Request. On the screen is a list of requests that are relevant to you. They can be proposals you submitted, proposal you need to consider, or those that you're following. Right below the list is a basic filter that helps you to filter out requests you want to see based on their status. If you need a way more advanced filter, it is right here. This filter makes it possible to filter the request simultaneously by the condition based on name, group, current status or specific time period. On the menu bar along the left are the e-forms you are allowed to use and they have been divided into groups. Let's learn more how to use these forms in the following video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next part.